Why stop with proposing games for the SNES Mini? Let's go one step further. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 games that need to be on the N64 Classic Edition. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we took on the strenuous task of sifting through the original library of N64 games to pick out the very best titles to include on a theoretical N64 Classic Edition, just like Nintendo has already done with the NES Classic. Before we continue, we know that Rare and Microsoft have a little bit of a sticky situation going on with their previous N64 titles, but these games are awesome, we want to put them on our list, screw business. If you want some, you want some pro, um, uh, alright, get your f***ing ass in there, there's these f***ing cows. Number 10, our top 10 N64 list. Do a barrel roll! Yep, we're doing this again. For one thing, our top 10 N64 games list included some of the all-time greats for the platform such as Mario Kart, Super Mario 64, and the legendary Ocarina of Time. With that in mind, we find it highly unlikely that Nintendo would leave out so many system-defining video games from a collection that is designed to embrace the very best that the N64 had to offer. Furthermore, the NES Classic Edition featured a library of 30 games to choose from, so if the N64 were to follow suit, there's more than enough space for these gems. Yes, even Goldeneye, even though rare Microsoft yada yada yada. <laughs> Number 9, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Who doesn't love Star Wars? Drawing inspiration from the best selling book of the same name, this third person shooter was a mind blowing experience for fans of the franchise when it launched back in 1996. Shadows of the Empire provided a Star Wars game unlike anything prior, with thrilling space combat sequences, massive levels to explore on foot, a compelling storyline, and allowing us to relive the epic Battle of Hoth the second we started the game. With the Star Wars saga back in full swing on the big screen, it would be a no-brainer for the Classic Edition to include one of the most classic gaming adventures from a galaxy far, far away. Number 8, Donkey Kong 64. There's no two ways about it. Donkey Kong 64 is an absolute gargantuan sized game. With five playable Kongs, a seemingly endless number of collectibles to find, addictive side missions, thrilling boss battles, and possibly the largest game world on the console, DK64 was an unprecedented gaming triumph back when it was released. Its scale and plethora of things to do manages to still rival video games today, which is a testament to its overall design. This isn't even mentioning the multiplayer, which can add even more hours of enjoyment to an already jam-packed gaming adventure. If you still can't get enough of all these Kongs, let's hope the theoretical N64 Classic Edition throws in Diddy Kong Racing for extra good measure. Number 7, Pokemon Snap. <laughs> Pokemon has experienced a huge surge in popularity recently thanks to the incredibly successful phone app game Pokemon Go. It's another no-brainer to include this blast from the past for even more nostalgic gaming goodness. The premise is simple, you move through a bunch of on-rails levels and take photos of a variety of different Pokemon. Yeah, that's pretty much it, but don't knock it before you try it, as it can prove to be quite addictive. It encourages multiple playthroughs to discover all the hidden items, paths, and Pokemon that there are to find, ensuring a hefty amount of replay value to keep you coming back for more. <laughs> Number 6, Bomberman 64. Even today, the N64 is widely recognized in the gaming community for its excellent selection of local multiplayer games. Why not celebrate that distinct quality by including one of the all-time greats from the days when four buds would squeeze onto a couch and scream obscenities at one another, round after round, in Bomberman 64. The four-player action is just as intense as it ever was, potentially providing just as much fun now as it did in the 1990s. Video games were also more complete with content back then, so if you don't have friends over, there will still be a lengthy story mode for you to enjoy chock full of colorful graphics, catchy music, and exciting platforming. Number 5, 1080 Snowboarding. Totally radical, dude! Snowboarding video games have come a long way since the late 90s, but it would be cool for modern audiences to see how this entry paved the way for 3D simulations of the sport. The arcade-style gameplay ensures an easy-to-pick-up experience for newcomers, but provides just enough depth for those that want to invest their time on mastering the crafty trick system. 
1080 will keep you shredding across the digital snowy terrain for quite some time, as it's jam-packed with an abundance of game modes such as traditional race, time attack, and a contest mode where players show off their mastery of the aforementioned trick system. Long story short, if you like fun, play this game. Number 4, F-Zero X. The N64 was no slouch when it came to racing games, so why not represent the category with some of the fastest fun available for the system? F-Zero X boasted some of the most breakneck speed ever witnessed in a video game up until that point. The developers sacrificed graphical fidelity to ensure that the game would have less to render, allowing for all of the processing power to focus on delivering a consistent frame rate of 60 FPS, which was a big deal at the time. F-Zero X hasn't slowed down with age, as its speed is just as exhilarating as it ever was, and the many game modes available for you to blast through can provide a sensational rush. Baby! Number 3, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> Conquer's Bad Fur Day deserves to be on the N64 Classic Edition for one reason. It's unlike anything ever released for the console. Considering that copies for this game are increasingly rare and usually average a price tag of over 100 bucks, it would make sense to include it here to make it more widely accessible for players to acquire. Hilarious pop culture references, robust multiplayer modes, and colorful visuals have helped this game stand the test of time, making it just as absurdly entertaining as it ever was. Just what I needed. In fact, it would seem to me that these give me just what I need at that moment in time. Packed to the brim with violence, nonsensical profanity, and more poop jokes than you ever cared to witness, Conker's journey through the numerous wild and wacky worlds is something you won't forget soon. I am the great mighty Pooh, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. Number 2, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. <laughs> If the N64 Classic Edition includes Ocarina of Time, then there's no reason why it shouldn't include its equally excellent follow-up, Majora's Mask. This is yet another example of an N64 game practically bursting at the seams with things to do. The main journey may be the shortest of the franchise, but its exhausting list of side quests will provide you with an extensive and varied assortment of extra things to take on. Majora's Mask is considered to be one of the most unforgettable video games ever produced, so giving it a spot on the N64 Classic Edition would ensure that a whole new generation is able to play this timeless adventure, if they didn't already play it on the 3DS. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1, Perfect Dark. Rare has already made a few entries on this list, but no other game in their remarkable repertoire of content is more deserving of our number one spot. The action is just as exhilarating as it was all those years ago, and the zany storyline involving aliens, government conspiracy, and its awesome arsenal of weapons ensures its place as a true classic. Not even mentioning the killer multiplayer content, which basically took everything that made GoldenEye's multiplayer great and did it better tenfold, thus ensuring hundreds of hours of extra fun with friends. With all of that in mind, it's clear to see why this epic first person shooter would be a perfect choice for the N64 Classic Edition. Do you think we were a little heavy handed? No. Nah. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.